Hello and welcome to The Float Zone. I'm Dr. David Berv and I'm going to share a few helpful tips with you to ensure that you have the best possible float experience. This video is being filmed in one of our four identical pod rooms. Each private room is soundproof and lightproof and contains a shower, a pod, and amenities such as towels, makeup remover, soap, and shampoo, as well as a printed list of the helpful tips we are discussing now. There is also an intercom system in the room if you need to communicate with the front desk. You simply press to talk and release to listen. Once you are in the room, you can close and lock the door. Use the bench and wall hanger to place your clothing. Prior to showering, two things are recommended. First, place silicone earplugs in both ears by removing them from the package, shaping and rolling them in your fingers, and then placing them with a tight seal in each ear. Secondly, prior to showering, Apply Vaseline to any area of your body that may be sensitive to the super salty water, such as cuts, scrapes, blisters, dry skin patches, razor burns, or other sensitive skin regions. Please shower with soap prior to floating. If you have any hair products with oils, waxes, or residues, you will need to shampoo. Floating is not done with underwear or bathing suits, as both take away from the experience and add unwanted soaps to the pristine water. Make sure to turn off the overhead light by using either of the light switches, then get in the pod. The overhead light will then be off, but the pod light will remain on. Climb inside the pod while holding on to the lip of the pod. There are a few ways to do this. Once inside the pod, grab onto the handle overhead and pull down as you gradually lower yourself into a seated or kneeling position. The lid is designed so that it can be left completely open, cracked to your preference, or completely closed. It is very easy to open and close. There will still be airflow no matter how you choose. As soon as you lie on your back and remove your elbows from the bottom, you'll be floating effortlessly. You will not sink. Outstretch your arms and get your bearings. To start your float session, press the light button once. If you want the light to remain on, simply press the light button again and the light will turn back on. You can turn on and off the light as much as you want during your session. The music will automatically start. You will need to adjust the volume or turn it off by continuing to press the music button to your preference. The buttons are controlled by gently pressing inward on them rather than turning them up or down like a volume knob. You will find that you will drift around easily and effortlessly. So find an initial float position and when you decide to try another, move very slowly. Most people start with hands by their sides. There's no right and wrong. Experiment. Try one hand above, one hand by your side, Try both hands above your head, which is a great position for neck stiffness. Keep in mind that there is a neck pillow in the pod if you want it. Because there is minimal sensation and distraction in the pod, it is common to have mind chatter. You can use your breath to distract your mind. Focus on deep, long inhales and exhales. Count your inhales and exhales. Maybe even put your hands on your stomach as you try this. Music will also help to distract your mind. Keep in mind that any time during your float, you can sit up and you're no longer floating. You will likely lose track of time. Some people fall asleep, but you will know when your time is up at the end of your float session because the light will turn on and you will hear a recorded female voice prompt to exit the pod and make your way to the shower. In the event that you do get salt water in your eyes or mouth, simply use the fresh water spray bottle and face cloth. As you get up, tilt your head backwards or put your hand on your forehead to avoid any salt water dripping into your eyes. You can then push the lid open, climb back out, and make your way to the shower. As you move from exiting the pod to the shower, please try to step on the floor towel to prevent salt water from getting everywhere. After showering and getting dressed, please use our refreshment room to dry your hair and reapply makeup and then relax as long as you'd like in our post-float lounge where we have water and various herbal teas. So now is a good time to silence your phone and to use the bathroom prior to starting your float. 
Please let us know if you have any special needs or requests prior to your float, and we hope that you have a great experience. Thank you for choosing the float zone.